Hey, what's happening guys? So I have a really cool video that I want to do today. I want to create a custom web element using Svelte. And the reason why I like to use Svelte for custom components is because unlike Vue and React, it doesn't ship anything to the client. Like everything happens in compile time. So you get a really small bundle size. So starting with Svelte is super easy. Just go to svelte.dev and then go down to this block, copy this line here and this will help us create our project. So I wanna create a reusable card element. I'm gonna call this project Svelte Card. Once that project is created, we can just CD into it. Then I'm gonna open this in VS Code. I'm gonna go back to terminal and run the dev server. So npm run dev and it'll, <coughs> oh, first we have to npm install. Then we can run npm run dev. And it'll start a server on localhost 5000. So if we go to localhost 5000, we'll see the starting template for a Svelte project. What does a Svelte component look like? It looks like this. So all of our JavaScript is between script tags. All of our styling is between style tags. The rest of the stuff is rendered as HTML and it gives us a nice templating syntax as well as an easy way to bind data to variables. So let's start. I'm first gonna clear out this whole app.svelte file. I'm also gonna go to global.css and clear everything there out. So we're starting completely afresh. So I wanna make a card. So the first thing we wanna do is create a card element. So give this a class of card. And then we wanna style it. So we'll create style tags. And here we'll put the class of card. And let's give it some box shadow. And we want zero pixels on the x-axis. We'll want four pixels on the y-axis. We we'll want an eight pixel spread. We'll want a zero pixel blur. And then we want RGBA. We want so, uh, a black color, so zero, 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 and then 20% alpha. So let's also give it a width of 200 pixels oops, and a height of 300 pixels. And we'll give it a font family of sans serif. Awesome, so we have our basic layout for the card. So let's now give it a title. Let's say h1 card title, and let's give it a class of title. Cool, so let's style the title a bit. So title, we'll give it a font size of 16 pixels, and we'll text align center. That looks way better. Let's also give this card some padding. Let's give it like 10 pixels of padding. Awesome. So let's also make this card title a variable. So what we wanna do is replace card title with curly braces and we'll say title here. Then we'll at the top here, create a script tag and we'll say let title be a title. Save this and we have our new title. Awesome. Next up, let's put an image there. So I'll say image and we'll give it a source and we'll say, this will also be a variable. We'll give this variable name of image. And in here, let's say let image and let's just quickly find an image online. Let's look for a cat. This is cute. Copy image address. We'll paste it here, save, and we'll have the cat that style this image so that it fits in the card. So let's go back here. I'll give this a class of image. And here we'll just say width is 100%. Save it, perfect. And now I'm just gonna create like a list, a UL with list items in it so we can look at adding arrays to custom elements, which is cool. And here we want to iterate over list items. So let's say let items, and we'll just say, let's say cat, dog. Then here we can use uh, the Svelte templating syntax. So we'll do the pound sign, and then we'll say each, for each items as item. And then let's end this each with a forward slash each at the bottom here. And then we can echo out the item using uh, the curly brace syntax and we must put it in list item tags. Cool, and that is a beautiful card. 
Now we want to share this card with all of our other web apps. Let's do that. We go to rollup.config.js and here we go to plugins and inside Svelte we'll add custom element to this object and we'll set that to true. Then in at.svelte, we need to give this a tag name. So the tag name is basically what we'll call this element in the apps we use it in. So we go to Svelte options and close that off. And then we'll use the attribute tag. And then let's call this Svelte card. Save that. We're pretty much done. Now we just need to build this and we can then ship it. So let's go back to our terminal. Close our live server, clear this up, we'll go npm run build. Then we can see it builds it to public build bundle.js. Um, it also tells us we should have an alt attribute for our image. So let's just do that so it doesn't complain. Let's say alt is blank. Then let's rebuild it. No more error. Let's open it in Finder. Inside public, inside build, we'll have this bundle.js. Let's copy that file. And now I'm going to make like a simple web page. So I'm going to make a project here called web page. So directory, web page, TV into web page. I'm going to open this in VS Code also. I'm going to open this folder, paste our bundle.js inside of this directory. Then I'm going to create a new HTML file. It's called index.html. I'm going to use an HTML5 template. Then inside here, I'm going to say hello. Save that. Let's run this with live server. Cool. Now let's include our card. So how we do that is we we'll create a script tag. Then we'll say a source is bundle.js. Close this off. Now we can include Svelte Cardio. Okay, we get our card with all of the data and stuff in it. Let's clear that out. So we want to replace all this data with our own data from our web page. So what we have to do is prefix all of these lets with export. Then let's also default them to blank. So this will be a blank string. This will be a blank string and this will be a blank array. Save that. Let's go back to our project. So back to Svelte card. And inside Svelte card, we'll run npm run build again. We'll get that bundle.js file, copy it, and we'll paste it next to our index.html file. Replace. Now, if we go back, we'll see we have a blank card. Cool. So let's now add our own title. So title will be my title. Save it. Yeah, and it's adding my title image. Let's get a, another image of a cat. Let's see this one. Copy image address. Paste that in. Then we should have a cat there. And for the array, it's a bit different because we can't really pass through an array as a string. So let's add a script element here at the bottom of the body. Script. Let me just close this. Blank script. Close it off. Then inside of here, we'll get the Svelte card element. So, so we get document dot query selector, and we'll pass through Svelte card. And then what we want to do is we want to attach data to items. So we'll go document dot query selector dot Svelte card dot items. And we'll assign it to an array and we'll say item one, say two, three, save this. And if we go back, cool, we've just made a custom element and it's also like super tiny, five kilobytes. It's crazy. I hope you guys learned something. If you take away anything from this, it's how awesome Svelte is. Go try it out. It's a really cool framework. Um, cheers, guys. Catch you in the next one.